Isn't that crazy? Good evening, everybody. I wanted to update you on Elsa here this Tuesday evening. Still a tropical storm at the time of this recording. That's likely to become uh, a hurricane for a brief period of its life before it makes landfall sometime tomorrow. Very heavy rain ongoing this evening along the western Florida coast, especially the southern half of that. This will eventually move off to the north a little bit more. So Sarasota, Tampa, Bradenton, all the way down through the Keys, seeing some very heavy rain. Tonight, winds 70 miles an hour, wind gust 85, uh, moving north at 10 miles per hour. So with that being said, because the center of circulation still sits in the, the very warm Gulf of Mexico and it's not over land, it still has some time to intensify as it moves to the north. A further east track uh, would have let that die off a little bit quicker, but that's not the case. And, and you'll see that's why tropical storm warnings stay in effect for areas that are being impacted right now. But because it will intensify, the National Hurricane Center has upgraded the warnings from Tampa Bay up to the north over the Big Bend to a hurricane warning. Storm surge up to five feet, strong wind gust in excess of 70 or 80 miles an hour. Rainfall in excess of six inches will be possible basically along the entire western Florida coast. That's where the heaviest rain will fall. A couple of inches of rain down toward Miami and same thing up to the southeast coast, even into Georgia and the Carolinas could see several inches of rain. Storm surge, always a concern with these systems, especially when you're on the dirty side of the hurricane or dirty side of the tropical storm. And that is the northeast quadrant. And that's essentially what the entirety of the coast will see. Uh, so from Tampa Bay, farther north where the hurricane warnings are in effect, three to five feet of storm surge is possible. A little bit less to the south and certainly a little bit less as you approach the panhandle of Florida. So here's the very latest track. And again, at the time of this recording, it's a tropical storm likely to become Category 1 Hurricane Elsa later Wednesday, uh, later Tuesday night or very, very early Wednesday morning. We'll see an upgrade likely to that Category 1 strength with winds of 75 miles per hour before it moves back over land and weakens yet again to a tropical storm. It'll still bring very heavy rain and gusty winds up through most of the southeast coast from Georgia through the Carolinas. There are the Outer Banks seeing some heavy rain possibly uh, Thursday into Friday before this moves back out to sea and uh, becomes no longer a problem of ours. So again, we'll keep an eye on Elsa here at WFAA. We'll have updates on our YouTube channels and all of our social media pages. You can follow us there.